Hi, I'm Director Sasha Nezev, and remember, keep it PG-13. It's a really special moment whenever you get all the people, the various people that have contributed to this film. Uh, art and cinema is obviously, obviously a collaborative process, and there's several people involved in this film. Uh, the subjects alone, we had, I think, about 25 people that we interviewed, the interviewees, and then aside from the crew, uh, we traveled through, I think, 25 states to film this movie. Um, and it took about a year, uh, pre-production, conceptualizing everything, uh, you know, uh, post-production. So it's really special. I'm really glad that we have all the, um, not only my crew and my cast, but the interviewees are here. So it's a really special moment. I'm glad we're finally going to watch it with, with an audience. Well, I absolutely like to push buttons. I don't know where it comes from. Perhaps it's a bit cultural. Uh, I'm from so uh, Southern Los Angeles originally. My parents are Eastern European, so I think it's that sort of hybrid. But I really like, I'm a fan of American cinema from the 70s where there was more of a, it, it was definitely an artistic statement, but it was a political statement, early Scorsese movies, um, Coppola, Coppola's films in the 70s. Uh, so I'm a big fan of making a statement. Um, Interestingly enough, this is my first documentary, so I, you know, I've always concentrated on writing uh, scripts, narratives, and directing uh, narrative films. So this is the type of film that I is perfect for me. I think when uh, Greg Smith, the producer, approached me, um, we were sort of able to put our heads together. And you know, I was, I've always wanted to do a documentary film, but, and this sort of came to me, and it was perfect because we were able to conceptualize it together and bring a real, real big, uh, you know, kind of. A flair to it, I guess. Well, I have a, a script I finished called Harbor City, um, and I'm developing it with uh, uh, a friend of mine, Jeff Helton. Uh, we have a couple other producers involved, and it's actually a gangster sort of uh, Los Angeles crime saga. Sort of along the lines of Heat, but it's kind of, it's sort of uh, the departed meets on the waterfront in Los Angeles. Crime, competing crime families, it really deals with the culture of Los Angeles, because uh, again, I'm from here, born and raised, so uh, one of my big pet peeves in watching cinema when in the representation of Los Angeles is they rarely deal with the real Los Angeles. So it's always this sort of falsified image or, you know, vernacular that doesn't really portray the real Los Angeles. So it deals with, you know, LA, it's a cultural, it's a cultural film with Los Angeles, but it also has the narrative tropes of the gangster genre. And that's 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 sort of the next film. We're also in the in in the process of developing another documentary film, so that that's something else that we'll see what happens. Just keep going. I mean, you know, it's a process. You know, unfortunately, you usually hear these one time, first time success stories. He made his first film, his first script, and they shoot to the top. That rarely happens. I mean, rarely. The fact of the matter is, you need to keep moving. You're going to fail. You're going to make projects. Start now. Keep moving. Never lose faith. And, 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 and keep working. Just keep working and keep working. You know, so don't, you know, uh, demystify this whole lore that you, you know, you're going to do it with one film. Because the reality is, it's going to probably be your third, fourth, fifth film. You just got to have a passion and just experience life and translate your life experiences and your passion into your screenplays and your films.